Hey guys, EDC Gear here once again, and today we're going to go over the Leatherman Core. This is part three in the series of the Super Tool Family series, and uh, I want to correct something that I said in the Super Tool 200 video. I said that the Super Tool 200 was in production longer than the Core by a year. I was wrong. Both of those were produced for five years apiece, so get that out of the way and clear that up. But the Leatherman Core, they redone the plier head and a few other things in this new iteration that was released in 2005. It replaced the Super Tool 200 and improved on a few things. Um, apparently, a few people had problems with the way the tools locked and unlocked. And uh, they decided to change that in the core. And also, besides changing it away from the super tool, as you can see, they turned it into a box shaped tool by adding Zytel inserts, which it's a form of plastic, but it's a really, really durable, tough, hard wearing plastic. And in fact, the, uh, the blast, the kick, and the fuse all have Zytel inserts, and they are part of the Zytel family. That the core belongs to. Yeah, I meant to get some of those out and I may run do that really quick. And we're back. It's like I never even left. <laughs> the blast. I got a, one of each of those. Now I can show you the Zytel inserts on those. The Zytel was a little bit more invasive than the other three models. As you can see it went all the length of the handles made for a very comfortable grip and it was blasted a lot let me play on words for having the Zytel in the tools but the Zytel I've had these I've had this tool since 2009 I've been pretty rough on it it was the first actual tool that I bought and uh, after inheriting my grandfather's PST I wanted to replace it so I didn't break it anymore. And I bought the Blast. It, it beat out the wave in terms of features per cost at the time. And um, I didn't really did have any problems with the Zytel. And getting back to the core, it, uh, you know, I used small pieces, you know, of Zytel and handles. But it made this box shape versus that, you know, I've already showed that versus that. Still allowed for two long tools in each handle, you know, and allowed the pliers to clear everything. Same tool set as uh, previous iterations. They changed the way the tools looked. It's more of a bead blast finished now versus the shiny stainless, of course, the serrated blade. Uh, changed the way the sheet foot is a little bit on it, but it's still basically the same tool. This is more what tools look like nowadays on. Super Tool 300 and Rebar. So this tool and the Zytel family, and the whole Zytel family actually brought about the square Phillips that you see nowadays. Um, all the drivers have been ground and that was actually a big uh, feature. They hollow ground all the uh, flat drivers and they were very, very good drivers. The only thing is the 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 box shape. People didn't like how the box shape was. It actually looks pretty good, but a lot of people have problem with it. And the core also incorporated the push tab lock system that we see on majority of their tools that have locks now. Very good system. Uh, very good, except for it was a weak point on the core because this is actually the third stainless steel core that I've had. The first one, the lock broke, the little peg broke, so I sent it in the Leatherman, and I promise you, as soon as I got that tool back, this part fell apart. So I sent a letter with them telling them what happened, and I was not happy, and within a week, shipping there and back, I received a new core. <laughs> so, good job Leatherman uh, warranty. They did really well on my warranty. But uh, the push tab locks, they improved them in the next, in the Super Tool 300, of course, and they made them a little beefier, so you don't have that problem anymore. 
Of course, that's the way anything is, you know. You, it's, you know, trial and error. People didn't like the Zytel, so they done away with it in the, the new one and went back to the older style. But the core is it's a nice tool overall. You know, the plier head is, is beefier than the Super Tool 200 and the Super Tool. Uh, you, tool is gone, it's just Leatherman now. And that's what the uh, first generation Surge look like. And I think that might have been the only two, two big tools at the time they had out. But all of them, you know, even well, the, the, the Blast and the Wave, then the first, the second generation Wave, they all went to that style plier head. And actually even the new Bond and Curl both have this same plier head, so they've not went away from it yet, you know, completely. But the uh, that plier head is only on the core and the... Uh, first generation surge because the second generation surge has got the removable uh, wire cutters like the super tool 300 um let's see let me talk about anything else you know the tools look different but it's the same exact tools that uh are on all the super tool family that's why it is a super tool it's got the same exact tools it's got the medium driver the all uh, large flat driver, the, you know, double-sided file, uh, the plain edge knife blade, um, serrated blade, can opener, of course, and there's the Phillips head. Like I said, the, that's the, these generation tools all came out with the square, uh, Phillips head and there's a removable bit driver you can put on these tools and turn them into a bit driver. Very handy tool to have and I carry one with me daily no matter what tool I carry because it's just handy to have. And uh, the small flat driver and then of course the wood saw. And they put a little stop in there, I don't know if you can see it, right in there so that the saw has a place to rest and it's easier to access. And then done the same thing with the file. Um, with the Zytel. And it's a great, you know, great, big, beefy tool. And uh, it, it came out stainless steel. And then it came out also in, uh, I can't remember if this is a sheath this game with. I don't even remember if I got a sheath with this one. I bought it second hand, but it's uh, the black oxide. And I'm thinking they also have a black oxide with a gap cramper. Which is the black oxides are rare enough as it is, but the cap crimpers are more rare. Same tool, yeah. The black oxide and the Zytel go really well together, and uh, I'll show you. Even in the blast, it looks better. All the uh, Zytel tools look better in black oxide because the Zytel just blends right in seamlessly with them. Very nice feel, you know. Of course, we know how all that went. They're discontinued now because so many people didn't like the idea of plastic. And the, but the Zytels, it's it's not it's just not it, it's a different type of plastic. It's very well wearing. But anyway, it's over with now. We don't have to worry. They don't put them in the tools no more. But uh, let's see. I believe that may be it. I've rambled on and about the core. I don't have as many cores. I've only had a couple of those. So. Not as much to, to show. Uh, the sheaths, it came either with, I cannot remember who came in this box, is the one that, that stainless steel come in. I believe that was the sheath that it came in, but I'm not 100% sure because it doesn't look like it fit in the box too well. It was either this one or it could have been uh, this one. I don't remember. That one actually may have came with a knife. One of the Leatherman knives, but I ended up using it for my Super Tool 300 and wore it out and put a snap on it. Never did wear that out, so it was a good sheath. And uh, of course, the Molly sheaths, the Super Tool series will all fit in in these Molly sheaths. You know, they're pretty sturdy, and if you get one with the big hole versus one with this, there's, there's some that have a, I actually have one right here. This one is not as good of a sheath as this one. 
they're just not built the same. I don't know the manufacturer in different places or what, but the one with the big hole is much more sturdy. The Velcro one is better. The I mean, it's just all around better sheath. But I think they uh, they was out for the core and for the surge. So it was an option. You know, you buy it separate. But it, it either come with this top sheath, I'm pretty sure, or this top box sheath. I don't have one that's for the core, but it would have just likely been an upsized version of that. Okay, I've rambled on long enough, guys. Uh, part three of is the core in the Super Tool family. Um, part four will be the Super Tool 300. That will be next in the series right there. And we'll go over the differences that they made from the core to the 300. All right, remember, guys, like, subscribe, you know, comment if you have any questions or things that I screwed up on. <laughs> uh, you know, comment, hit the bell icon if you don't care, and uh, give a shout out to multitool.org. As always, the forum and uh, my forum family. I've learned quite a bit there over the years, and that's where I get lots of my information, and I've helped get information there over the years. Um, and Poncho 65 on there. So if you, you know, decide to join up with us over there, give me a holler if you need any help. Also, the Leatherman Collectors Club. Uh, I don't know if I showed the box. It's the top that slid completely. <laughs> tool. And then the sheath was in that. Um, the Leatherman Collectors Club. I'm giving them a shout out as always that I try to. And uh, Leatherman Tool User Group, of course, multitool.org has a Facebook page as well. Um, EDC Cooperative and EDC Royalty, great bunch of people on both of those. And uh, as always, have a great day and see y'all next time. Bye.